Hello everybody, I am Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions and today I want to talk about how to set up your business in the UK. Now, there's lots of discussions about this I see in business groups and networking groups regularly and there are two distinct ways in the UK to set up your business. You either set up as a sole trader or a limited company. Both have their own risks and benefits and I'm going to share with you my take on these but what I will say at the outset of this video is I would always advise you to talk to an accountant when you're starting out as they can take into account your personal financial circumstances. So just bear that in mind that this is kind of a bit of an overview for you and my take on it and why I set up my business in the way that I did. So first of all, sole traders. Now when you set up like this, there is no legal distinction between you and your business. All the profit you take is personally yours and it's taxed accordingly. However, this does mean that you are personally liable for any debt the business incurs and that could affect your personal assets in the future if things go wrong. So it is a little bit of a risk there for you, um, but the benefits are that you only have to do your self-assessment tax calculations each year. Payments are a lot easier. The other thing to bear in mind if you're a sole trader is you can trade under any name you want, so your own name or a business name. But there's nothing to stop somebody else from setting up a business with the same name. So just bear that in mind. Limited companies, your business is legally separate from you. Now this means that you are not personally liable for anything in the business. And that business is separate to you. But it does mean that when you're working out tax, your business pays tax. Um, and then you also pay tax on the money you pay yourself and any dividends. So you may end up paying more tax than you would as a sole trader, but it's quite complicated. And as I said, you need to talk to an accountant about it. But a benefit though of being a limited company, aside from the personal liability, is that once you register your business, no one else can register a business with the same business name in the UK. So if you've got something very niche and you want to protect your business name, then that is one way to go. Um, there are other legal things you can do around that, such as um, registering trademarks of intellectual property, but I'm not going to go into that because I don't know enough about it. Um, for me and my business, I decided to set up as a sole trader, purely because I wasn't planning on taking any, on any debt in my business. It's a service-based business, so I don't need to pay out for stock or anything like that in advance. And I knew that my insurance would cover me if I had any big liabilities to clients due to errors in my work. And I didn't really want the extra tax responsibilities um, that came with that. At some point, I may change my mind and go limited. Um, but at the moment, for me, being a sole trader is the best decision. So I hope that this helps you. It is purely my, my interpretation of it. Um, it is quite simplistic, so do take advice when starting out. But I hope this helps you get a little bit of an overview and start to think about the best way to set up your business if you're starting out. Or if you're looking at changing your business, will help you to come to that decision. Thank you for taking time to watch and I'll see you on another video soon. Bye for now.